Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for joining me. Man, life is real good when you got dividends. The fact that you even clicked on this video shows that you care about your money. And you might want to achieve financial freedom one day. The freedom to retire early or quit that dead-end job that's not going anywhere. Or never have to worry about paying bills again because you've got money coming in every single day, even when you sleep. You've got money coming in even when you're spending time with your kids or chilling on the beach. That sounds like the life, right? Well, you can achieve all that and more when you learn to dividend invest for passive income. And if you sit tight, I'm gonna show you all the steps on how to achieve that. I get it. Some of you are skeptical and saying to yourself, wait, that sounds like a dream. Like, nobody's going to pay me every single day, even when I'm on the beach or with my family. And I never have to worry about bills again because money's just always coming in nonstop. Like, you're right, Nick. Is, is that even possible? Yes, it is possible. But you've got to get started. You've got to invest. Yeah, if you want to start building passive income, it's an absolute must. You've got to get started now especially if you're in your 20s or 30s because you have your whole adult life ahead of you. Time is the best friend of a dividend and the more years you have to compound and receive dividends, the larger your portfolio will grow. And the larger it grows, the more passive income it feeds you over the years. So you need to get started yesterday. Don't waste time second guessing this. This can be the most beneficial thing you ever do in your life. And the older you will be thanking the younger you for doing it. And basically, a dividend is a distribution of profits by a corporation to its shareholders. When a corporation earns a profit, it's able to pay a portion of the profit as a dividend to shareholders. Any amount not distributed is taken to be reinvested in the business. All right, so let's do a quick little example. Let's say you buy your first share of stock on the markets and it's AT&T. You buy one single share for twenty eight ninety three. In return, just for you simply owning that stock, AT&T is gonna pay you in the form of a dividend $2.08 a year. That's 7.1%. Think about it. No bank out there is gonna give you 7.1% interest just for you keeping your money in a savings account. It's just not gonna happen. They're not even gonna give you 1%. So that in itself should show you the power and the advantages of buying dividend paying stocks. And right now you're probably thinking, wait, AT&T only pays $2.08 a year in dividends? What can I do with that? Listen, it's not about any one single share. It's about one share turning to 10, 10 turning to 50, 50 turning to 100. And then that 208 will really start to add up over time. But you have to be consistent with it. Let me show you something really quick. Yeah, if you guys think these dividends don't add up, you're sadly mistaken. I just began investing on Robinhood three years ago. Three years, that's not a long time at all. And I made sure that I consistently put $100 a week every Friday into my portfolio to make sure that I grow my dividends. And you can see here that I practically have dividend payments coming in every single day. And even if I miss a day, the following day I might get two or three payments, maybe even five. So it makes up for the days that there's no dividend at all. So you can basically say every single day of the year I'm receiving some type of payment. Here on September 18th, I got three payments, 80 cents, 90 cents, 74 cents. September 17th, I got two. On the 16th, I got five. On the 14th one, on the 11th one, on the 10th one, I mean, on the 10th three, you get the idea. And right there where it says SMG dividend, $50, that was actually a special dividend from Scott's Miracle Grow because they were doing so well this year in the middle of COVID. That $50 was unexpected. So from time to time, in addition to the dividends you already expect to receive, some companies will pay you a special bonus dividend if they're doing well. So these dividends really do add up. Let me go down to AT&T, August 4th. AT&T, we were talking about this earlier. I said earlier that AT&T pays a dividend of 208 per year. Now they're not gonna just give you 208 at one certain date in the year. Dividends usually get broken into four quarters. So the 208 divided by four would be 52 cents every three months. And since I own 47 shares of AT&T, 
You multiply that times the 52, and they give me 2444 every three months. And that's only if I stay at 47 shares, which I'm going to continue to add to AT&T. And I have this stock set up for drip reinvestment. I talk about that in another one of my videos, but drip reinvestment is basically when the dividend comes in and that company pays you the dividend, it automatically goes right back into buying more shares of the same stock. So anytime AT&T's dividend comes in right there, that 2444 automatically bought more AT&T, which causes me to own more shares, which causes more dividends to be paid out. So if you think dividends don't add up, <laughs> you crazy. So there it is. You saw the proof right there in front of you. Payments coming in every single day into my portfolio. Yeah, they're just fractional amounts. They're nothing to retire from and live off of and pay all my bills just yet. But when I check the math, I'm making at least $7.50 every single day for the entire year. That's only after three years of investing. So can you imagine after five years, eight years, 10 years, 15 years, and with each coming year, it grows faster than it did the previous year. So after another three years, it's not going to say that I'm going to add only another seven fifty a day. After the next three years, I might be up to 25 bucks a day or 30 a day. It grows exponentially once the dividends start compounding. So you can only imagine what it's going to be after 15 years or 20 years of doing this steadily, consistently. And seven fifty, although it's a small start, if someone woke you up every day and handed you $7.50, you'll say, hell yeah, I'll take it. That's lunch right there. Now, before I go on with the video, I got to put out one quick disclaimer. In order to make this whole dividend investing idea work, you have to be employed. You have to be making an active income so that you can consistently feed the portfolio over time. That's the only way the portfolio is going to grow to a level where it'll start feeding you in return. It's kind of hard to generate passive income when you're unemployed. And I completely get it. Things are very rough out there in the economy. So many people getting laid off by the thousands and jobs shutting their doors for good. It's brutal. But as soon as you are able to find work, and this is something that you really wanted to do, come take a second look at this video and start setting things up. Whenever you're trying to make a decision on which stocks you should buy, always look out for these three factors. What's the dividend yield? What's the payout ratio? And what's the overall business model of the company? And that'll definitely indicate to you if that's a quality name you're buying. Now, when selecting dividend stocks, personally, from my own experience, I like to select stocks that pay over a 2% yield. Number one, it protects you against inflation. Number two, it speeds up the compounding process and makes up for lost time. I don't want to deal with a bunch of companies that pay less than 1% because I'm going to be waiting forever to make passive income. Whereas if I have an overall portfolio with a 4% yield, now I'm going to reach those goals a lot faster. Now I will say this, just because a company pays a 1% dividend yield doesn't mean it should automatically be just ignored. No, you can find great companies that pay 1% yield. I own some tech names that pay 1%. I even own some tech companies that pay no dividend. But the name of the game as a dividend investor is to find quality stocks that pay at least 2% and up. That's the fastest way to speed up the passive income process with your portfolio. But I will also say this, if that stock pays only a 1% yield and has an outstanding business model, great customer loyalty, they can survive any type of economic downturn or a recession and strong earnings year over year with no debt, that's definitely a name you want to add to the portfolio because it's great to be diversified. Okay, payout ratio. When you're keeping an eye out for the payout ratio of a company, you typically want it to be on the lower side. And what the payout ratio is, is pretty much what percentage of the profits that the company makes are being distributed toward the dividend. So if the company has a high percentage payout ratio, that means they're giving away basically all their profits to the dividend. If it has a lower percentage, then that's something you typically want because while they're paying that dividend, they have a lot of leftover profits to grow the business year over year. And if they're growing year over year, then that means your dividend will continue to come in year over year. With the higher percentage payout ratio, if they don't have anything left to grow the business, how are they gonna last deep into the future as a company and grow? It's virtually impossible if they're using all their profits on just the dividend. Okay, last but not least, the business model. You always want whatever company you choose to have a very strong business model, AKA Coke. Pepsi, 
Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble. These are companies that you can hang your hat on and know that if you close your eyes and woke up 30 years from now, they'd still be around. These are the companies that have done nothing but profit and scale year over year. They've consistently paid and increased their dividend for decades in a row. They have huge competitive advantages over everyone else in their sector. And they have a very established customer loyalty. Those are the companies that you want to add to the portfolio because those are the companies that are going to carry you into the future and compound those dividends. And that's all we're trying to do. Build that passive income. One of Warren Buffett's largest holdings is Coca-Cola stock. He owns over 400 million shares and has been buying the stock for the last 50 or 60 years. One of the reasons why is its reliability with paying the dividend. It's paid a dividend steadily without missing a beat for the last 57 years in a row. And you think in 57 years there hasn't been ups and downs in the economy? There's been wars, pandemics, economic downturns, recessions, bad presidencies. But nonetheless, Coke has been there true and true, paying that dividend, steadily pumping out that income to everyone who's a shareholder. So when you have stocks like that that are very reliable and not going anywhere, you can count on that almost like a second job. And a stock that's steadily paid a dividend for at least 25 years in a row or longer is considered a dividend aristocrat. So if all else fails and you're really looking for that first name to add to your portfolio, you can just go on Google and type in dividend aristocrats and it'll come up with a list of companies and you can start from there. All right, so that about does it for today's video and I hope you found this information useful and hopefully it can help you with your investing career. There's several online brokerages you can get started with when it comes to investing. There's Robinhood, Webull, M1 Finance, TD Ameritrade, I left you a link in the description for a Robinhood account. It's free to join, and currently when you sign up, you receive a free stock just for joining. So check it out when you get a chance. If you had any questions for me or had anything at all that you wanted to add, please drop it down in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep bringing you those weekly videos related to finance, business, and investing.